Hey. Okay, guys. Um, making another commentary. This time it's gonna be over. Um, the new player versus player update that came out about a week from today. So, um, I know a lot of people like it. They do, and my even myself, I do like it. It's a good update. It was just um, it it really because like a lot of people they expected a um, the player first player update which could just be like old wild exactly and that's not true. It's they're gonna have different drops, but what I didn't expect is the drops that it has because the drops are terrible. I mean, unless you're one of those lucky people who get default homes and stuff from drops then you know whatever you can't complain but either way it the drops just aren't enough to make money I mean you'll get if you get a lucky drop it's great just it'll be a lucky drop <laughs> and like it's just from what you make it's just not enough to make a profit off of it I mean like I and I don't even understand the drops half of the time because like I killed this one dude with, unless he had something on him, but I was, uh, PKing with some people from my, from my Ventrilo chat, and I was going to bank, and then, um, this one dude was out of the, he had like, he's a 102, and I'm a 117, 118 with 7 summoning, so, 117, and I started ranging him, and I hit like, hit him twice in my rune crossbow and he ran into the bank and I whipped out my DDS and hit a 24 24 and then a 36 25 on him and killed him and got a whip so I don't really understand that he only like what he had on he wasn't risking very much <laughs> so either way so I was pretty happy with that I've gotten some good rune drops but then other I've been other times where I've killed full Durockers and got nothing really so you know it's just it's it just depends on what you're if you play it if you play the PvP just to make money you're gonna be disappointed because you it's you're probably not gonna make too much off of it but the time you unless you purely just PJ people or rush people and just like get lucky that way but but if you just go in and fight people like I do one v ones by the time you add up your supplies. Um, and your deaths and all that other crap, this stuff you lose, you're just not bringing in enough to support what you're losing. So it's just not much, it's not enough to make a profit, which can kind of be a problem. At least BH with Bounty Hunter, if you killed somebody, you got their stuff. So basically, if I were to die in Bounty Hunter, like, be like, oh, shit, I died, or whatever, I lost my stuff. But then I go back in and say, I PK somebody with like the same stuff as me. Well, there you go. Easy come, easy go. But here, <laughs> that's not entirely true. You might have to freaking kill three people before you can get the same amount of crap you lose. So, like, originally you kill someone full rune in Bounty Hunter, you're going to get full rune. So you basically got back what you lost. Here, you kill somebody with full rune, you might get a glory. <laughs> And the glory frickin' just is one of the things you lose. And and I'm talking about they yeah, they have full rune. They don't just have a glory and then you so you kill the, and then you kill another person, say you get rune legs. So you got it you you unless you get a lucky drop, but then I should say that like also you could get more. You could kill someone with full rune and get like a ring of stone, which happened to my friend. So it just depends, I guess. Anyways, so, yeah, my opinion on it, I like it. It's a good update. Uh, and the r for rating, I have to give it a 4, well, actually a 3 out of 5. Because another thing I don't really like about it is I'll just be trying to go somewhere, and then people will just attack me, even though whether I have something on or not. really doesn't matter. They just want to freaking kill me. Like... I'll, I can't, I'm an ancient, so I can't tell it to Lumbridge. So I'll just tell it use the Ring of Dueling and go there. And some little assholes PJ me, I mean, freeze me and stuff and kill me. 
while I'm going to Lumbridge, and it's just kind of annoying. Or whether I go to the GE to buy supplies. So, I mean, it's almost as if you have to log out, then go to a regular world, buy your stuff, log back out, and then go into a PvP world. It's just tedious as hell, so. What my opinion was, that what they do, is they should have just made PvP, like, even if they had PvP worlds, but had the same concept, but had just it in the wild, like Old Wild. Or what they have that in the same world, the wi every world, it's just in, what's it called? But it's the same drop concept. That would just be, I don't, I don't understand why that wouldn't work. Because, I mean, it's not like, unless somebody, something they know something I don't, where you can only scam if it's in the wild purely, not in the whole world. But, whatever. <sighs> yeah, so, like I was saying, it's a pretty good update. It's fun. Which I guess if, if you're in RuneScape for fun, as am I, uh, this is a good update for you. But the thing is, it's just kind of nice if something was fun and it gave you money. Now you know it's this is, see this can't you can't compare this to like Clan Wars. Like I I think like I have two different mind uh, mindsets when it comes to Clan Wars and then this because you know you lose stuff. So you at least get something, I guess I'm trying to say. But either way, I have to give it a three out of five. So let me know what you think about it and rate, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. All right. We'll see you. See you guys.